Hi and welcome to Violet Connie Art. Today I have a really quick video for you. This is a art hack on how to make a regular pad of watercolour paper or any kind of paper into a block. The reason I want to do this is because I keep wanting to buy the blocks of uh, watercolour paper rather than the pads so that I don't have to tape it and I can paint right to the edges but the problem is is they're a lot more expensive than these so I've come up with a way to do it myself. So first of all you need a piece of paper um, the, si the same size as your watercolour pad, some glue sticks and a hot glue gun, mine's a bit manky but yep, and a silicon spatula. And you also need some of these clips. So first thing you want to do is you want to put the piece of paper nice and squarely, as squarely as you possibly can, on the pad of paper. sure that the edges are all lined up nicely and along the bottom you want to make sure that they're lined up not nicely or it's going to ruin the top piece of your paper so the clips on this will prevent it from moving once you have all your binder clips on and nicely even and overhanging each edge you want to do it in small sections with the glue gun and then put a fine film along each section and then move the clips along the reason we want to do it in small sections is because we don't want any glue to get in between each piece so I'll show you an example here so I'm holding the pages together making sure not to get it on my fingers the glue nice and hot go right to the end and so that section's done get a bit of an overhang that's okay fix that later on so that's the first piece done the messy bit here and the messy bit there you can actually uh, get rid of with an exacto knife later so now move on to this section up here and I don't want to do it all the way to the end because I want to leave a space to put palette knife inside of when I do my and I want to remove each page after I finish painting so holding it together nice and tightly again nice bead of glue It's not exactly neat but it does the job. Repeat this process on each of the sides. Now that's it, you know, let it dry. Doesn't take very long with the glue gun at all. Take all of these off. Now I've actually left a space at both the top ends for peeling away my pages. And the reason I use a silicon spatula is because the glue comes straight off there. No problems at all. Okay, the glue's all dry now, and so we can take off this first sheet. Well, this is the reason we have this first sheet on here, um, to protect the first piece of paper. Now here's the final product. It's not exactly... Uh, neat, but as long as I can paint the edges, that's fine, and I can fill the page right up, um, and then I can also remove it with my palette knife. Just by going up to this end here, popping it in, and sliding it along. So 
bathroom when I have a finished painting. I'm able to remove that piece. Just like on a paper block. And I can just tear along the top like you normally would. And ready for the next painting to be painted. And then you can also just clean up the edges by peeling away the excess glue just gently and slowly from your painting. I haven't had a watercolour block before but I imagine that there would be that um, gum that's around it left on those as well so you just peel it off nicely afterwards and you'll have the painting left over at the end. And that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this helpful.